Okay. <laughs> All right. Seven o'clock. I will call this meeting to order. We have a quorum with our regular members and Mike as our alternate. Um, we are going to skip the pledge allegiance because there is no flag in here tonight. Well, there's no picture. Oh, there's a very tiny, tiny flag. Let's just have to deny on that. <laughs> Um, are there any added agenda items? Yes, and everyone should have one in their packet. It's just there's receipt only um, for 102 Winkler, that's the BB landscaping. They'll be doing some grading and some, um, they're proposing some outdoor storage. So I'll do a lot of that section in the wetland. So it's just the receipt, and then we'll have a presentation in here and go over everything on the March, March meeting. So what are we putting that under? Well, uh, it's not an application that looks to be next week. This is just a receipt. Receipt of the application. Oh, I put the full packet so everyone. Oh, okay, so it's new business, so new application to be received. Yes. Sorry, yeah. okay. All right. Yes. We're going to hear it next. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make a motion for that. Where does that end the agenda? That's okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it came in. Okay. Well, we like to let them come in a, a week before the meeting. Well, we're we're just, uh, we have to still look at it and it's review still, it. Yeah. Kind of, kind of fun. I, like I mean, we, I mean we're, we're not other people we're, accept, we're accepting the receipt tonight yeah. of it okay. so we can yeah. have a discussion at the next meeting yeah all right i apologize did you guys make a motion or are you just receiving it you just it? Make, did you do a motion you want to make a motion to add to the agenda yeah we'll make a motion to add to the agenda the receipt of application for 104 winkler road one of two. Oh, no, one, two. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. And it was uh, who's the second, Mike? I'll second it. Thank you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes from November 2nd of 2022? <laughs> no. Approve the minutes November 2nd, 2022. I'll second it. Any discussion or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, meeting minutes are good. Moving on to new applications. We have 102 Winkler Road. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't forget about it yet. Schedule for next month anyway, right? Right, so what do, we have, so what do we have for this? Anything? So we have the full packet right now. But there's no discussion or anything tonight, is what I'm getting Sorry, what? Information about it, I could provide some. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like you're not in your stamp channel. <laughs> it's in this packet. I mean, I, it's well, probably it's back in the back because I added it yesterday afternoon. So it's not in one of them. So oh, got it. That's what I wrote. Uh, yeah, yeah, correct. You just have to decide. Right. The motion was to add it for receipt. And that no one had prepped to um, present the application. I heard yeah. Tim say he could give a little background on it. I'm aware that uh, BB Landscaping is looking to create a storage yard for off season equipment um, on the Newberry Road side of their property. It will include um, a detention basin a berm, you know, like a, a buffer type berm with plantings and fencing for security purposes to protect their equipment. Um, that's it in a nutshell, but because we just got the application in, um, receiving it, then you'll be able to act at the next meeting uh, once staff has had a chance to review and put her staff memo together. So we do need a motion then. If the motion to receive the application. Yes. Okay, I'll make a motion to receive the application for BB Landscaping 102 Winkler Road. Warehouse Court. Yeah, and um, permit number is WA 8 2023. 2 2023. 
Mike seconds, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of receipt of application? Aye. Go ahead. Who seconded? Uh, Mike seconded that one. Thank you. Yep, no public hearings, no continued public hearings. So moving on to new business of as of right determination for 81 Windsorville Road, k &H properties, owner cleaning and grading to expand cropland in the Upland Review area. And this is a larger version of the map you have in your packet. And then I'll let you know. And then just uh, your name for the record, please. We don't know you. Uh, um, Both of you is fine. <laughs> my name is Timothy Kuhn, um, professional engineer with J.R. Rufill and Associates here tonight with Herb Holden of Double H Acres. Um, we're going to start by letting Herb uh, give a, a kind of an introduction to uh, to his farm operation. And properties. Great, go ahead. Uh, Herb Holden, um, I, my farm operations in uh, Broderick Road, Broderick, Connecticut. Um, <clears throat> it's an existing farming operation that we've had since 1977. Um, and it's really, I've, I've met with some of the staff here already, and um, I've talked to them about, like, this is kind of like the passion of my life. A lot of folks know my name and know the, our family business and in, uh, in town, um, and I just wanted to stress the fact that um, the, the beef operation is something that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I've grown up my whole life in 4-H FFA. Um, I went to school out of Kansas State University, um, studied animal science, meat science, this is kind of what I want to do kind of for the rest of my life is uh, raising cattle and, uh, and providing a quality food source for the local community. Um, I came back to work on our family farm in 2008 um, and also to assist in my family trucking company uh, that, like I said, most of you have heard of. Uh, in 2009, um, I launched Broadbrook Beef, which is a product of Double H Acres. Uh, Double H Acres is our registered like tax ID, if you will. Um, so Broadbrook Beef is the product that we sell. Um, and it's a company that, uh, it's a passion to plate beef company. We raise animals from birth to harvest. All the beef animals are hormone-free, antibiotic-free, pasture-raised, and processed at a USDA-inspected facility, not on my farm. Uh, meat cuts are brought back to the farm where we sell um, at our farm stand on Saturdays from 10 to 3. Uh, we're currently working with six restaurants, two private caterers, as well as the public on Saturdays. Um, every year since 2009, our program has grown uh, at a decent clip. Um, and I will say that um, when the pandemic hit in 2020, um, we saw an explosion of people interested in finding locally sourced, uh, locally sourced meat products, if you will. And, um, and we literally like more than doubled our annual sales in that one year. Um, for anybody who came to the farm that year, like the first three months of the pandemic, the line out was out to the street. Um, and, and of course, I thought, like, well, this won't be sustainable, like as far as like, you know, being able to service this many people, as well as people will probably go back to shopping at Big Y or wherever they go to buy their meat products. However, the, uh, that wasn't, didn't prove to be true. We've actually maintained most of those customers since. Um, and we're currently servicing, you know, and we're currently seeing about anywhere from 25 to 40 people come to our farm on, an, on, on any given weekend now. Um, and in 2020, we had, like I said, this explosion of sales and whatnot. I thought for in 2021, we'd kind of reduce our sales. And turns out that we actually beat our 2020 sales. And then we beat our 2021 sales again this past year in 2022. So we have a good product, um, needless to say. Uh, in the late fall of 2020, um, some of you are familiar with the fact that I've been, you know, working at this uh, farming application for a while, um, and I, I I was ready to go with my barn project that I, I've been in front of this commission for before, and I was presented with an opportunity to buy the property at 81 Windsorville Road. Uh, it's a hundred acre property, uh, 35 acres of it is pretty much unusable. Um, it's the portion that kind of sits behind the Booten property. Um, it was heavily mined back in the 30s, 40s. The old excavation <laughs> mined it is still there in the water. Um, something I got to deal with at some point. Um, <laughs> there's also an old bar that's in the water. I hope there's no bodies in it. Oh. Um, but it's also back there. Um, at any rate, uh, there's 65 acres that are up front that are all, for the most part, decent farmable um, soils. 
Um, and we've been farming it since, uh, since 2021. So for the last two years, we've been uh, raising corn on it. Um, however, if you look at the site and you look at the topography that's on our engineering here, you'll notice that there's a lot of different elevations. Uh, if you go to the site, this was obviously, a, um, it was an old gravel bank many, many years ago, and they just kind of stopped. Um, and because of that, it's created a lot of like fallow land on the property. And so today we are basically um, here uh, with a regrading plan um, that is going to put all of the all of the farmable tillable soil that is adjacent to Windsorville Road and Chamberlain Road, or actually just Chamberlain Road, I should say, the land on Chamberlain Road to basically one even sloping field, um, which is going to increase the amount of farmable land that I have to uh, increase it another eight acres from what I've been farming uh, that's available right now, just because of the differences in elevation and just odd shapes of, of the property. By doing that, um, eight acres, uh, just so you guys kind of get an idea of how that helps grow our business, eight acres produces enough cor uh, corn silage for our farm for me to raise another 26 steers, which is about another $100,000 a year in revenue. Like I said before, I'm trying to make this farming operation my 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 retirement, my livelihood, um, and it's something that in order to do that we have to be self-sustained. Um, in order to do in order to do that, we have to be able to raise more more crops. In recent years, we've seen a lot of the farmland in town go to solar projects development. That happens in every town. I get it. Um, but it, it, every time that happens, like last year, I lost another 16 acres of cropland because somebody else took it over because somebody else was developing their property because they took it over tobacco. So owning, controlling your own land, uh, from a farming application is vital. Um, and so I, um, you know, I, I'm presenting this plan today, basically with the, with the mindset of. I need to expand this operation so that I can continue to be self-sustaining. And um, and with that, I'll have uh, my engineer, Tim, uh, talk to you about the specifics of the grading plan. As her mentioned, um, the existing lot is 101 acres at the intersection of Chamberlain Road, which is to the north on the top of the page and Windsorville Road to the west. Um, the yellow that you see are the existing uh, field areas, the existing agricultural areas that are open. The white is, is a wooded area. They wanted to turn it green because then it doesn't make the other lines hard to see. So, but currently there's an existing about five acre field up against uh, Windsorville Road. Then, as you come eastly, um, this is Spring Glen Brook, which originates and flows actually north of the property. Um, it's fed by wetlands on the site. Um, these wetlands were actually delineated by Rick Zulik. Um, the fields that we are focusing our grading plan on are the ones up along Chamberlain Road. There's a little area here, larger area here, and an area down at the uh, the toe, if you will. But this is an old uh, gravel pit face. There's a, essentially a significant drop from the flat area up here down to the elevation um, of this field in the back. And then there's an existing uh, field out in the bunker, which crosses the wetland by an existing culvert. So as I mentioned, we're focusing on these fields. And again, as um, Kurt mentioned, there, there's some topographic challenges remnant from the old gravel operation. In this particular wooded area, there's a pit, it's actually a deep hole. If you go over to this side, these are mounds. There's mounds of earth over here, again, in a wooded area. And as I mentioned before, there's, there's the pit face, which you're obviously not going to farm. So what we're proposing to do is essentially start at the edge of the road and grade down to the toe of the existing pit face, well, to the south, at an even grade. When, when we're finished, this grading plan shows in these areas a grade of about 2 to 3%. So doing that in this area, it's a little steeper because we kind of have to match the road grade, which is at about 10% here, but still um, flat enough to farm. Um, there will be clearing involved, there will be grading involved, but these white areas here will ultimately be able to be farmed. And as Bert mentioned, that's going to add 8.2 acres 
to his uh, usable cropland up here, which is a significant increase in productivity, as I mentioned. The, uh, we will be providing soil and erosion controls. There will be a the dark brown here line will be our perimeter. Silt fence will have an anti-tracking pad. We're going to create a road down at the toe of the slope that we basically work into the grade like this, load our trucks and take it out that road and away. Um, we will be doing this in phases. This, this shows four phases, um, about six acre, acres each. And the, the idea will be to open up a phase, push the topsoil to the side, grade it, take the topsoil and put it back. Uh, we're not not removing any topsoil from the site, but the, the, the material underneath that will be removed from the site. Um, and we'll work that in phases so that when this phase is complete, we'll open the next and move down and complete it in that manner. Um, that's essentially it. Um, as I mentioned, you know, there's no direct wetland disturbance. Everything we're doing is outside of, of the wetlands. Um, we're protecting that. Um, this line is the 150 foot regulated area. There is some activity you can see between the brown line and, and that. So we do have about 5.6 or 5.4 acres of work in the Upper Ruby area. But it is a project which is regrading to expand crop land. And as such, it falls under section 4.1A of the East Windsor and Wetlands and North Forces regulations as a permitted use as of right. Um, as such, we're here tonight to provide the required notification in accordance with that regulation and provide you information in order to confirm that this is a permitted use as of right. So, if you have any questions, any board have any questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. No, he said he didn't have any questions. No questions. You have a question? No, okay. No question. Go ahead, Dave. It's just kind of a rage thing. Or an as of It kind of resembles a drought of fit that's going to be a good farm when you're done, which I have no objections to. But let's call it what it is. Well, Obviously, well, he's probably, hopefully, going to make enough out of that to pay what he paid for the land, so he can go buy some more. But is there anything wrong with that? We make it well, nothing wrong with that. But, it's but just, just it, it, it's regrading for crop. Well, and to be, it, it really isn't completely Tim. Well, you know, not there's a, a few thing. yards coming out of there. Yeah, there are, you yeah, know, there's there a few hundred, few thousand. Yeah, no big deal, but. This is basically going to be a mining operation until it's over with. But there's no there's no processing equipment on the property. There's no retail, there's no sales on the property. Probably not. I wouldn't think so. Well, I'm just well, I just that, that's what why we feel the the, well, the separation between calling it a gravel pit and a farming operation. Phase two, like we're going to start with phase one. Phase two will be farm. Phase three, phase like all those phases will continue to be farmed while we're doing this. There's no processing equipment. There's no anything. It's literally just stripping stripping the material. But you may want to come back and process. No. If there's no. anything like booms, you're going to find some awful nice rock in there that needs crush. Our application is not for any processing. Right. Well, it's, it's, it'll, it's going to I, don't know. I think the only concern that I have in terms of the wetlands is phase five, because that's a lot of slope to be regrading. I think that's my only concern in terms of wetlands. Phases one through four, I don't see any issues with in terms well, of- Well, we only have four phases, I'm sorry. Yeah. So is it phase oh, four? Yeah. Yeah. Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be- Yeah, that's my only concern is in phase four. That's a lot of slope to be regrading. It all goes down to the river. Yes, you're putting the silt fences yeah. and everything else That's there. Correct. But and, and there it, it does flatten out down in this area. But it it does. Like, these are old piles. Yeah. And also, we're really, we're just moving to the piles and raining down to the ground. What's in them? My own, yeah, like, again, soil or? my only concern is not necessarily yeah. what's underneath, but the slope that it's going to change and how it's going to change and flow into the river. So 
depending on time frame of when you're doing this, just be aware of erosion, making sure nothing goes into the river. I know you know all of this. I'm just verbalizing it out. Certainly, and I've done it all before too. So certainly we are aware of the concerns and we believe that the plan does include measures to take care of those. Yes. And obviously whoever's operating this on site will be aware of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your timeline in terms of like time of the year to get this? Are you trying to do it now for the springtime? Well, it, it, I mean, as far as like whenever we get a process or whenever we get it approved, yeah, we, want, approved we want to know. Okay. Yeah. okay. Just have to go before uh, planning and zoning too. Yeah, there was an email. I forget what it said already. Well, right now we are um, proposing a text amendment to the planning and zoning to provide um, a, 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 a way for a farmer to do this under the current farm regulation mm -hmm. as opposed to an excavation permit under the, uh, the current zoning regulations. So we will ultimately need to go to the planning and zoning for some some floor. We just take the site Well, we have a plan. We are. We have a plan. For the planning and zoning? Yeah. Well, it, 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 our, our argument is that it, it will include the planning and zoning. So we say that we're advising that this comes before that wetlands um, commission as a permit for the proposed work because it is a smaller portion of an overall intense project. Um, the proposal presently is unlikely to meet the requirements of section, yeah, section 84, as he said, earth removal and filling. They are going through, we have some paths we can look at, um, which would be going through the Planning Zoning Commission. Uh, the plans show excavation in the pursuit of expanding ag agricultural crop, crop land, ranging from two feet to four feet in depth will, when, as you go across. Um, and it's not taking place directly in the wetlands. But significant excavation, 200,000 cubic yards total, is being proposed in an area that is adjacent to it. So we feel that extensive grading and clear cutting is considered more than just a traditional crop land expansion for an overall project. So it's our opinion that this proposal warrants an individual permit to conduct regulated activity rather than an as of rights termination. Yeah, I, I agree based that's on the fine. amount that's coming out that it should be. Uh, yeah, yeah. For full permit and not just an out of break. Well, first, there's there's nothing in the regulation that specifies the size of the project makes it a, a non-agriculture project. It falls correct. I agree. Agenda. So you know, there's that. Um, also, we did um, we have got correspondence from DEP because one of our concerns initially was all right, the farming activity. If they consider it a gravel removal activity, then it would fall under the requirement for um, the construction or the general permit for stormwater from industrial activities, the general permit. So we question, and I have an email from them, um, which I can read the response. And it, essentially, the response was we do agree. That as long as the activity is conducted strictly to regrade the land for crop production, neither the industrial stormwater general permit nor the construction stormwater general permit would apply. If, however, the client's plans change to include construction buildings, the excavation becomes a primary activity at the site, or the activity results in pollution of the water to the states, then a stormwater permit would be required. So we do have an interpretation from the DEP, which agrees that this is an agricultural activity that does not fall on a mission. Um, definition, if you will. Staff have that, don't they? No, I don't have any missing. Yeah, we can just pass that. If, if you have a copy or can send one to us, that's fine. Yeah, just so we can have it in our records. Yeah, I mean, the, you take a, yeah, if you can get that. Too. Oh, yeah, actually, I can no, right it's all fine. Well, it's like, well, but it's an ongoing farm right now. Okay. If you're only hauling so much out there, don't want to be a farm. That's the that's the gist of the what's the, So what's the issue? So just so I understand, what's the issue of whether it's a thousand yards or two hundred thousand yards? Because we're doing it in phases. The amount of complaints that we're going to get from the trucks that the whole town is going to get. Well, that's it. That so that's that's, 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 yeah. that's, 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 that's it's not one Yeah, that's a separate. But we want to make sure that because well, here's the thing that the uh, zoning board doesn't interpret it as we rubber stamp. 
Can I just ask one question? Because there's kind of like those two sections that are really being regraded. Yeah. How much is coming from that top northern portion? Uh, They're actually just similar yard. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it again, because the road right. the road goes up, so yeah. we can't just drop it all the way down, right? right? So, so it's actually similar yardages coming out You're of each. Have that out, right out, there. out of each phase, yeah. yeah. It should yeah. take that last. I'm gonna take some of the darn roads down, but, but, but you can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> but I mean, really, really should. Because yeah. really <laughs> should. up and one's going down, basically, as we're happening, right? Yeah, okay. right. And in regards to, I mean, like, and again, like, we know this is wetlands, but it, I understand what your concern is as far as like, we're stamping it for the other one. Yeah. We are working with the town on other language in the, um, what do you call it? In the farm regulation. For the farm regulation, which is going to dedicate this land, or not, it's going to tie up this land for agricultural use only for an extensive period of time because we're doing farmland. This is not just a, like a slide in at night, that come would, out. That would be a. Well, well I'm just letting you know that that's, lot better. Or, that's what we're doing. Really. So that's why I'm just saying I don't want to cloud your judgment about the wetland decision versus what's going to happen at planning and zoning. Right. Because planning and zoning, we're talking about how do we write this so that it's for farming. And I and yeah, I tried like, with that. Yeah. I tried explaining like in the beginning like this is for farming. Yeah. Right. It, it, and it's currently for farming. It's not like it's starting from nothing. Like you are yeah. currently already farming there. And continue to farm it while we're doing right. the process because I need the acreage for the silage. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and, and that will provide additional protections, but it provides some alleviation for farmers because it's a farming activity. So, you know, so we're trying to we still wish for a permit for farming. I mean, we can. I don't know. It's it's, a, uh, it's 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 on that line, and that's yeah. what's well, and that's, that's where we're coming from. Yeah, is that we we consider this a farming operation for the farming operation that falls under the permitted use as right. right. So that's we we feel we're doing it the right way. That's what the regulation says to do. Yeah, these types of activities. You do get the right way by coming to us first, so we appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you if you get that text amendment through, that's going to definitely clarify it. Yeah, but again, we can't yeah. make our decisions. No, we can't do it. But we're not in the wetland. We're not mining the wetland. And I understand your concerns yeah. about protecting the wetland yeah. as we're going through the wetland process. Well, we've, we've, like I said, we've done this several other times with other projects. And I've never had a complaint about affecting the wetland. So, oh, thank you. Daniel, were you able to talk to Alan at all and kind of get his take on things on these topics? No, he said he came. Yeah, he had mentioned that he would like to see this go through as a application, but he didn't provide any more details. Yeah, yeah. I think it would go through. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, you know, you're you're basically already in all of those conditions. Provided the application. Put it on. Put it on next month's agenda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're 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 just, we're looking at some other things that are kind of all going on at once. We have we've had meetings and we talked yeah. about the have to move forward with this, so we're trying to kind of in tandem doing. Yeah, and that's what he was explaining while you were making this comment. Rick, were you going to say something or Kirk? Well, I was yeah. going to um, ask. Go ahead, Kirk. Very quickly, is uh, the agriculture. Role and uh, conservation committee know about uh, this additional farmland that might come under the Fernandez Act. What's your question? Yeah, uh, what's your question? Um, to the commission, the uh, agricultural commission and conservation commission know that Herb wants to donate his land. To, uh, it's not a donation. It's a we're going to have a, a deed restriction on the land for for right now. We're discussing for ten years uh, a deed restriction on the land. That's what that's what we're working with planning and zoning on for the text amendment for the agricultural use of the property. So that way it prevents basically 
planning zoning is fully under, like aware of the fact that like you know they don't want to set a precedent that anybody can just call any property farmland and then do whatever they want with it or whatever we, so so we were but they also understand the fact that i am legitimately trying to have a ongoing farming application here and i do need to regrade the property to continue on with the with the operation and so we were basically we're saying well if you're going to keep it in farming then then let's have a then let, let's file that on the deed that we will keep it in farming for 10 years and and everybody seemed to be in agreement with that at that meeting i mean it's, it's, nothing's been voted on yet yeah but. right can i speak to that a little bit yeah go ahead. Rebecca. um so we had we had our meeting we had a like a straw man draft that was submitted by Herb and Tim that would be a text amendment um, in the works for um, the right to farm portion of the zoning regulations. And staff has provided um, a response to that with a, a red line document. The issue at hand is that right now, you know, 200,000 cubic yards triggers section 814 of the zoning regs, which is a pretty hefty lift. And um, at the same time, if you're trying to add something to the farm regs, we still need controls and it's still a very large excavation. So we're, we're trying to find a path that we could create for permitting it can't be a staff level sign off because it's it's a very large project and so um we're starting with an informal discussion on the 14th at planning and zoning i just wanted you to know exactly uh, where we're at with it okay and actually i'll just add to that that um if you excavate 101 yards, cubic yards, it triggers the same excavation permit requirements, which is a tiny amount. <laughs> it does. Right, right. It triggers it. So we're trying to provide some relief to the farmers, but mm -hmm. like something the farm regulation. And again, that doesn't necessarily wean our results one way or another for voting. Do you have the copy of the the, the farm regulation for wetlands? The well, the, yeah, you know, this is the, uh, yeah, the sure they're, they're, you're probably all aware of it, but I will pass out. This is your section of the applicable section of the permitted use as of right. Tim, could you just give me the section number uh, for the minutes here? Section 4.1A. Thank you. And that is, that's wetlands, right? Yes. Wetlands, yeah. Thank you. For the use of that Okay, thank you, sir. Agriculture plot by mining of topsoil, peat, sand, gravel, or similar material from wetlands, you know, with all water courses. You know, that's neither one of them, but we're outside of the way out here, technically. You're in the upland area. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So that doesn't really still, apply. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, you can stop it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. That's always a big question. Something yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> so what does the board feel? When they say when they're like... <laughs> it can be a long duration yeah. operation. It is. I mean, you know, you what do you do consider the park? Is it mm -hmm. the what do you well again when there's no processing on the site, it's all being hauled off. And my goal is to get it graded down so that it's we got graded down to the back of the musical farmland. How long is that gonna take? I don't know, like probably we could do it in two years, we could do it in five years. Yeah. I mean <laughs> but it's not like the whole piece is gonna be out of agriculture. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, now you can do a section of it. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, so so everything goes in the paper. Yeah, yeah, right. so right. right. I can see it's I'm a just a cop so excavate phase one, push back the top soil, push up the top soil phase two, take the material, recover phase two, such and so on. I know. Put it that way. You know what? I feel like it definitely really falls on that blurry line. That's blurry, blurry line. Yeah. I want to, you know, come in, get a permit, we'll give it to you, and go on. You want to move this one? I feel you, huh? Yeah. We thought this time we're going to move again. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but 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 I know. Let's get more different. You're stretching it. Well, well we're not. We're, 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 I feel like we're not stretching it from the simple fact of like, uh, it's one, it's in your regulation. Yeah. A. B. The, the again, there is no processing, there is no retail sales, there is no like, you know, with other like mining operations, it was we're going to be open seven to five, Monday through Friday, not yeah. on the weekend. Like, that's not. That's not what we're talking about here. We're outside of your wetland region. Cool. And, and as far, you know, so I'm like, I, I just feel like this is different than like a traditional quarry application where they would be okay. shelling the material I completely agree with that. direct from the site with mining operations under MSHA regulation. Like none of that's here. Mm -hmm. This is push up the topsoil, take out the fill, regrade, push down or put down the topsoil, reeking, and do a finished slope. With with erosion control measures in place so that we're not affecting the wetlands. Okay. So it's not in our jurisdiction, actually, really. It's not going to affect the wetlands, right? Well, because well, it's in the regulated area. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anything in the upland, we really got, but who does have the authority to zone for, for all of the material <laughs> with made outside of the at, upland at, review? At this point, yes, because of the way the regulations are. It's yeah. over 101. Yeah, so that has to go to planning zoning regardless. Yeah. So whatever. I think we have to do this as an as of right. Based on our regulations that we have, mm -hmm. and it doesn't specify the, the cubic yard, and he's clearly using it for farming. That's that's not a question whatsoever. So no. This business of the 10 years afterwards, that, that makes it a lot better. Yeah. Because you know, we've been Potato farm was set up in this town, and uh, it seemed that they never grew any potatoes. And two years later, they're growing houses on it. <laughs> Magic, yeah. yeah. Well, you probably know what I'm talking about. You may not hear too young. You know, it's just not the guy you know you have to go with. We know the green trucks are going to be busy. Right. But because we don't have them, we're not going to give them special treatment either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I think as of right is the way that we should go on this one. Could we postpone it, I mean, or would I hurt you too much? Well, that doesn't make money in zoning because I, I know Alan probably has um, things to say in this. Ruth, will it, will it postpone anything? If they postpone this tonight, will it postpone anything for what we're doing? With planning and zoning and all. We have an application, not even an application, an informal discussion yeah. on the agenda. So there's no formal application. There's not even a, you know, before right. the commission. And it's going to be a text change mm -hmm. process. So we're not going to hurt you. Yeah. Timing-wise, no. 
Well, back to so the over here again. Yeah, that's what I was being considered too. So. Get the staff memo, take the DEP memo and all that, and take it over to the office across the street and let the legal beagle take a quick look at it and see what's the best way to do it so we don't get liability problems. Yeah, we can do that. And it would be nice to have all the board members here. Well, if we can. If we can, yeah. All right, I, make I a motion to postpone then. You're going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. No. And okay. That's I do, we're, we're not here to hurt people. We're just here to protect the I'm town. Sure. And, I, and I'm I'm a little nervous about without a little advice. I don't like getting sued. No. Not for Neil, I'm sure. But. Okay. To make a motion right. to postpone our yeah. yeah. Until the yeah. So you're, you're, back you're, you're getting a legal opinion. Is that I, I think that's the best way to cover. I think since we have the time to do it, it's, it's worth doing it. Yeah. And it's, it's not going to hold you up. It's not going to cost yeah. ten thousands of dollars. That would be fair. Well, we have to come and if you here. have to put an application, <laughs> in. Well, well, that should be a quicker meeting. <laughs> and, and if you have to put a permit in, somebody, I can't see any real problems. I mean, the bell, bells and whistles are all here. Your soils, people are done, and everything's, you know, you're there. Right. Either way, it's just how do we do it? Mm -hmm. Do it legally? Yeah, just because there is just, there is hesitation on our end, and we've gone back and forth. So the staff does have some comments. That's that's a, it's a scope of the project. I understand. I understand. If you want to fill in, make that white area to the left, and fill in that low spot to the right. I've had it, baby. No problem. But oh, with, well, with that much anything. material coming out, yeah. 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 I'm sure it will be good time yeah. yeah. So do you want to make a motion? Yeah. Okay. I better. I'll be the rat. I'll make that. What would you write? Postpone request for as a right decision pending further investigation. Yeah, okay, let's leave it at that. Okay, I'll, so I'll make that motion exactly the way. Did you get that, Peg? No, I didn't. It, uh, to postpone the as of right decision for um... pending further investigation. Okay, thank you. For one meeting. Yeah, till, till, we'll, we'll have a good meeting. Yeah. Until your office. next meeting? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Jason's office. Yeah. Is there a yeah. second? Mike seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor for postponing? Aye. Aye. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'll buy the store on Saturdays. I raised my own chickens. Good <laughs> for you. Yeah, good time. Huh? I know. Yeah, he was on that because they got everything done and everything, even if they got to go the other way. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have no old business. Moving on to miscellaneous, uh, let's see, discussion of 113 Tromley Road, Mike Riley, applicant, various improvements cool. and additions to a house in the wetlands in the Upland Review area. Yes, yeah, so this is literally a very formal, more or less advice. Um, you'll see I provided, I provided a map. After the soil, <laughs> there Back here. So I'm starting with these maps, and then he's got some drawings. Basically, the applicant, if you look on the ones I picked from Wetlands, they're interested in putting um, a 12 by 8, I believe. 12 by 8. eight yeah. Basically, they're going to have an enclosed deck, like an enclosed sunroom, no foundation up on. You know, poles the way a deck would be, but it will have a full floor being closed off the back of the house. 12 by 8. There's a little corner of it that will be in wetlands. The rest is in upland review. We don't know if we want to do a permit because I'm not our eight, or I'm sorry, a permit, yes, but agent decision versus. I would, I would 100% say that's an agent decision okay. on that one. And then he's got a, two more questions. There is a shed that's already in place next to that. Yep. He wants to move it within the buffalo interview to another agent. This, this, and eventually, you can make that all in one. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, not, not even a motion. Yeah, this is just one. Oh, okay. 
Um, and I'll eventually also would like to put a two car garage. He works on show cars as a hobby. Um, his preference is to put, so there's a driveway yeah. right next to the house, and that is full on in the wetlands, but it's also paved it's already. Paved. It's already destroyed. He wants to put a driveway up here that's going to be, I mean, a, I'm sorry, a garage. My preference is here to just come in through his driveway. If that's a big problem, he said he could put it here in the upland review area and create another driveway, which would be gravel. But I said all of this I would ask about to get what you would prefer. Well, that's way that whole the area is so wonky wet, with yeah. what is actually wetlands right. and what's not. So well, which, well, which. Oh, it's definitely oh, it's very, very, yeah. Yeah, that's why he, he came in. Where is um, this on the big map? You got the I mean, it's on Trolley like, Road, right? Oh, okay. Yes. okay, I know. Yeah. That's actually drier than some of these yes. over here. Right. Yeah, that road. I can see that road there. A little bit. We're still there. I used to go through it at Airborne's So it's definitely the 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 deck patio, whatever they're calling it, and so moving the shed. I would say are okay. fine with an agent decision if everybody else agrees. I agree. Okay. okay. So that I'll have them put in is that. And honestly, that garage is far off. He just wanted to advise us what yeah. you prefer. We put it in wetlands and there's paving going to it or add a gravel. I mean, personally, I would want my garage on my driveway, so I, I understand that. It would, be, it would be ideal to put it right up the end of the driveway. Yeah, I think the garage would have to be Yeah, I think so. That would have a Just to get the feedback. It. Right. You may find out it's not actually wetlands. Yeah. I mean, it, it might not be. But because of our. Or at least I think they give us that the, the function is marginal or something. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I, I since just that's don't want to go destroy in So I will advise him then he'll put in the proper applications to move forward. That was just I said, Oh, we have a meeting coming up. Let me talk to them. Perfect. <laughs> okay, moving on to miscellaneous updates item number two for Touchbrook near the gravel gravel solar pits of east and west uh mitigation. Okay, so we visited uh, May. I went out there with John Gravel. Um with the nursery, we heard concerns about erosion going into Ketchbrook on that portion. There's a there's pictures of what they've done, but behind that, there's a map. Jay sent me. I asked him just to kind of point out um, at the very end of the pictures. So this is where the Ketchbrook is. This is the area we checked. It's right on the property line, kind of, of where the gravel and the property line of the map of the gravel pits and Mr. Dennis. I don't know. If it's Remember, it's like your, um, his property. Oh, so that's a smaller. If you flip it over, that shows you the a larger portion of the map. Yeah, all right. of that has. And so all of this. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the year is no, Mr. Mr. Ursery, I said, can you just put it, give us an idea of where this all happened? So we took extensive pictures of what has been done. I will schedule a meeting with John um, next time he's on property to go in person. Uh, I don't know if Jay wants to go out there or what, but just to see and take my own picture and see if there's more mitigation that might be needed. Um, so I will make a note to do that. But this is what has been done thus far, just so everyone's aware okay. of that. It's, it is it is taking place. Um, okay. Does anyone have any questions other than? When I meet after I meet? No, just take okay. extensive pictures and. Well, yes. yeah. It, Bad time of the year because it's probably a road no matter what. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Which means we need to get on it if that's something. Gotcha. We'll go out there. Yep, I'm just going to. I know it's fine. Okay. Okay. And then the second one on there is 232 236 Scanic Road, Jim Bolt, Wetlands Restoration Resulting from Violations. So the last time we uh, updated you on that. We've decided to tie it. We reported Kai and Bond would be creating a plan for yeah. this restoration project. Uh, we've had several meetings with them. Um, and it's come to with and with Brian, Tom Lawyer, and with Deep and everybody involved. What we've decided is they were initially going to make a plan and then figured, well, if we make this plan and then we get feedback from Deep or or Army Corps, it's kind of going to be a waste and have to make an entirely new plan. So they're trying to get it put from everyone at the moment okay. to put a plan together. At which point, Ruth, um, if you could explain about it going up for bid when it's complete for the actual 
restoration of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. So the phase we're on now is time bomb is creating a remediation plan document um, that can be used in a bid package to go out uh, to get quotes on what it would cost to restore um, or to implement the restoration plan. And um, right now, well, as Mr. Balch is paying in, that money's going to the town attorney's office and they're managing paying of the invoices. So we go out to bid and select a, a vendor to implement, then we'd have to negotiate and, and um, get payment put into an account uh, to see that through. There, I think there was some conversation about whether or not Mr. Balch would be directly hiring or conducting the work on his own. That's not that too. That needs to be changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Mr. Pittman found my typo. It, I I know it sounds yes. and I wrote I wrote Canada Road Group this afternoon. So I don't know why I wrote that. I don't want to give those on all the so fun, but it's no, it's South Main. So Peg, yeah. it's two thirty two dash two thirty six South Main Street. Okay. Um, the property. Yes, ma'am. I don't know. I was just had to get on my mind. <laughs> I guess. I think we've all been thinking about Scandic Road. <laughs> Same thing, you're not the only one that gets it. Yeah. Update <laughs> on that one, or on moving on to agent reviews, reports, and decisions. We have Inland Wetland Application 2023-01 Agent Decision for 28 Abbey Road, Applicant Town of East Windsor for installation of light for a soccer field. Yeah. So this is a pending agent decision. Um, they're updating our lights. And Joe's here to speak. If anyone has any questions or if you want to say a little more, Joe, let us know. But they're installing like there's a very tiny portion. Um, you'll see on the map I provided where they're there is it's really small. That's in the upwind review area, which is why we said agent decision pending. They have to go to the DBA because of the height, which won't affect anything for wetlands, but but it's pending an in, it's pending a DBA variance. It, were, it will be an agent decision um, for that tiny portion in the wetlands or in the upper, in the upland review area where there's already, you'll see on the larger blow up down below, there's already, um, there'll be underground, there'll be underground electrical going through that. And so that's our tiny contribution here to. <laughs> What's the question? Yes. Truck access plan. Why the heck are you going all the way around with the back of shed, Bill, instead of straight in the driveway? I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand the question. Uh, on the uh, on the on your plan on page L10, you show up in the top corner, and you show truck access, and you show dotted <laughs> going around the the, the, the tobacco yeah. or the scout barn or whatever it is today. And you know that's all grass in there, as opposed to going through the driveway. Is there some reason for that, or is it just um, drive straight in? Come on, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I did not see that plan. <laughs> it sounds to me like put the barn right here. There. Why are you not going straight? Yeah, because there's grass on one side of that thing. Uh, Open. I'm not quite sure why they're going around the barn. I would definitely stop them from doing that. Uh, they can stay right on the driveway. No, I think I that was so. that map was drawn. That map was drawn for the 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 company that came out and did some borings because we needed to know what kind of soil was there, and they did not know the combination of the gate. And I think that's what they did. They drew oh, the map. So they could get so that map there is is not we're going basically we're going out of that shed that electrical shed we're going to trench conduit up to the bathrooms the existing bathrooms we put on a couple of years ago and then from there the electricity will go from the bathrooms across to the big field and we'll put the four poles in and we're going to do some parking lot lighting so Good. My apologies. Um, I guess I should have got a copy of whatever they were submitting, but we're working with an architect. 
That's just me. Yeah. yeah. Wondering the same thing. I'm oh, quite sure. But it makes sense that that's how it's going to They will not <laughs> drive on my grass. I didn't think so. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's an agent decision. Yeah. I don't see why it isn't. Oh god. All right. All right. So you're good, Joe. Just make sure they go straight. Sure, Joe, your lunch though. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have no violations, no, no correspondence, seminars, and trainings, no conference. Oh, wait, I read the wrong conferences, seminars, and trainings, no correspondence, any general board discussion. I think we're okay. Hearing I, crickets, I, any public participation? No, I'm fine. I've enjoyed it. All right. And <laughs> do we have anything for executive session? I think we're, we're good. We've already got an update on the executive session. So, yeah, okay. so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Make a motion. Mike makes a motion. Is there a second? Six seconds. Six seconds all in favor. Aye. Aye. All right. Seven fifty-six bag. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Uh, of who you have been out to the site, how uh, how complete are the solar panels uh, to completion? Um, not even close. They're probably not even made yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Karen. Have a good night. 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 Good night.